this morning I thought I would uh, just share with you uh, <coughs> some cute prayers of children, but which illustrate how sometimes our prayers can try to bend God's mind and it's easier to see it in little children than it is ourselves. Uh, just before he went to bed, uh, parents heard their little boy pray this prayer. Now I lay me down to rest and hope to pass tomorrow's test. If I should die before I wake, that's one less test I have to take. Another little boy was heard praying, Dear God, thank you for the baby brother, but what I asked for was a puppy. <laughs> Another little girl was overheard praying, Dear God, did you mean for giraffes to look like that? Or was it an accident? Another little boy, dear God, I bet it's very hard for you to love everybody in the whole world. There are only four people in our family and I can never do it. Another little serious boy, spray, dear God, I say your prayer every night. Lead us not into temptation and deliver us some email. <laughs> but I never get an email from you. Do you have my right address? I love this one. Uh, this child had it right. Dear God, please take care of my daddy, mummy, sister, brother, my doggy, and me. Oh, please take care of yourself, God. If anything happens to you, we're going to be in a big mess. <laughs> the boy suddenly had his theology right, didn't he? Friends, I, say, I, I shared that with you a little tongue-in-cheek, but I feel like God may look down on some of our prayers as adults, and we sound just like this, and God says, cute, but not right. <laughs> God loves us like a father loves his children much, much, much more. He wants us to prosper. He wants us to have good jobs. He wants your young men to meet beautiful young women and young women to meet nice men. He wants you to have a great career. He wants to bless you. He wants you to have peace and joy in your home. God wants a lot of things for us. But there's one thing he wants more than anything else. This is the main thing. It's highest on God's list of priorities. He wants that you may know him better. Why are we called? We have been called by God to be a sign, to be proof of God's kingdom presence. And signpost to the future coming kingdom. That's what makes us light in the midst of darkness. Life and the universe is not about us, it's about him. And his supreme purpose for our lives is for us to know him better.